Welcome to Citadel vs. Army Painter, where I take two models from the same kit, find ones that are as close as similar as I can, paint one with all Citadel paints and one with all Army Painter paints, and let you take a look to see what you think about the differences in these paint schemes. I do try to keep them as close as possible, so today our paint scheme is for these little orc grots or Gretchen. And Grotz and Gretchen, you're going to have a lot of these if you're playing 40k. I play mostly Kill Team, and I even have more than I feel like I could ever get painted. But I decided on a quick little three-color scheme just to get these guys on the table so we can, you know, get gaming, right? And so here is our Citadel Grot. And our Citadel Grot, I'll show you him in detail, but I want to show you the colors that I've used so you can kind of look for them. These were both primed with just a generic black spray primer. And then we have, for the Citadel side, Thondia Brown. This is the new brown that they came out with uh, at the same time as the Orc Beast Snag is in the Oryx. Then we have Balthasar Gold, which is more of like a bronzy, brassy color than gold. Maybe a little coppery. And then we have Castellan Green, which is a, just a base paint Nice middle-of-the-road green. And so here is our Citadel Grot. You can see we have used that Castellan green all over his skin. We filled in some of the clothing areas, the leathers with the brown. We left his boots and things black. We took that Balthasar gold there, and we did a little trick because we did not wash this guy at all. So a wash is going to seek into kind of seep into your recesses and give you some shading. We didn't do that with this guy. And so this is just painted on, but I painted it on kind of lightly. So you see maybe, we'll focus here on his little pistol. I didn't paint it into all of the recesses. So it looks maybe like a little old or a little antiqued up, that kind of thing. Now with just doing the one color and it's not silver, it's a little bit of a challenge, but I got to thinking here with the sword. I mean, it's a, he's a grot. They don't have a melee profile really anyways. So I figured his sword must be made out of wood, and so I just painted it brown. And so all my grots now have wooden swords. On the army painter side, here we're using very similar colors. We've got our oak brown, a nice dark brown. You can see the swatch on the cap there. We have a weapon bronze, and so don't be fooled by the bronze versus gold. These are not super close, but they're close metallics, you know, they're both kind of a, they're not a straight gold, they're not a straight silver, they're somewhere in between. Then we have this army green, and I, I really uh, like this color, actually. It's, you know, I don't play, I don't paint a lot of, like, you know, army military themed stuff, but for the Grotz, well, take a look, here he is. Yeah, these guys can maybe benefit from some teeth, right? If you wanted to add a fourth color to your Grot, I'd probably put in some teeth on him. This guy, you can see the metallic a little more, and I have to say that is something I've noticed with Army Painter metallics across the board. They are the most metallic-y metallics that I've found. Excellent coverage there on that Army Green on this guy's skin. We've got nice coverage on that brown as well. There's that wooden sword. There's his kind of like, I don't know, wrestling belts or whatever. He's got that big, big uh, buckle there that I put some uh, of the uh, metallic on as well. Nice little brown pouch. I think that actually adds quite a bit of character and then a the little gold uh, bracelet for this model. So they both look great, especially you put them down on the table here. We're looking at them on the table from a little ways away, and I think they're looking great. For the bases, I'm not really focusing on the bases for these videos. I did put a little bit of that brown on top of that black base, but honestly, I am probably going to get these guys based up with my standard orc bases before I do play with them, and that will involve uh, some gray on there and then rimming them up with a nice orange. So, what do you think? Which one of these is your favorite? I think they look great on the table next to each other. I think the paints from both sides went on well. More metallic -y on the metallic on this side. I'll have to say the um, green on the... Uh, Citadel side looks like it's I, I don't know got a little bit extra depth to it that uh, 
the army painter green doesn't have, but also like the army painter green, I was doing just fine. So, I mean, you know, it's maybe it's a little darker. Maybe that's all it is. It's just a little darker green. So, two different greens there. I would say the army painter, the green was a lot smoother to paint on. The metallic was a lot better to paint on. The brown here, that Fondia brown, is an excellent brown. I think the um, army painter brown over here has a, a little bit of a darker color to it, which I actually like. So, oh, they're both great. They're both grots. They'll look wonderful next to each other. And there you go. There's our models for Citadel versus Army Painter. Either way you go, I think you're a winner on this one. The Army Painter uh, colors, if that's what you have available at your local game store, or you can find those cheaper, grab those. If you've got uh, the Citadels already, or you know that's what's at your local game store, go with that one. So I think uh, either way it's a win here, or you can do what I did and do both. Put them on the table and just have a little extra variety to your army. Well, I hope this was useful to maybe see how you can do two similar paint schemes with either of these brands of paint. Let me know if you have questions, and thanks for watching.